Okay, hi guys. Um, welcome back to the adventure of Miss Trisha Bells, and I am Victoria. Okay, today is going to be another unboxing haul video, and I purchased some items from Amazon Prime Now. I know a lot of you guys, like me personally, I got like disappointed and sad when they decided that when Amazon decided to stop shipping to Singapore directly from their main amazon.com website because I've been buying things from Amazon for a few years like I bought there was even a year wherein I bought like Christmas gift from them and I just love buying things from Amazon so when it did happen I felt sad because <sighs> Where can I get cheaper things now? But then they launched Amazon Prime now for Singapore and I downloaded the app actually. <laughs> you have to be an Amazon Prime member. I think you have to pay like two dollars something every month. So I downloaded the app. Oops Victoria, you closed. Let's wait it for to load. So I downloaded the app Amazon Prime now you can see and you can actually ship you can actually purchase items from Singapore and then you can actually see all the different departments that they have but having said that there's also this international tab wherein you can purchase things from Amazon um, US and again they have all these different types of departments but what got me excited is also they have this beauty and personal I should have just screen recorded but then um, it's okay they have this beauty and skincare personal care tab wherein you can buy like makeups and all skincare bath and shower makeup nail care and all and under makeups you can actually buy all this they have like very interesting makeups cosmetics the cosmetic brands that I actually want to try and so I bought a few of them and I actually bought things twice last year I bought a few but because it's Christmas season it came in late so I actually bought um, in December and just recently I bought again so let's go through what are the items that I actually bought last year and this year so if you want to know what I actually bought and how much it actually cost if it's worth buying from Amazon now keep on watching and <laughs> let's get started Okay, so let's start this off because it's quite a lot. So I ordered, hmm, I opened the long one. So 12th of December, I actually ordered a few items from Amazon now. Okay, Amazon Prime now, Victoria, it's not Amazon now. So I actually ordered it on the 23rd of December and of course being the holiday season it came late. So what did I actually buy? The funny thing was I still haven't opened some of them but this was already unboxed because I have to keep it on my in my drawer. If not my husband would get angry at me and my brother for keeping all the boxes outside. So I actually bought the Coty Airspun Loose Powder in Honey Beach. Which is this okay this is a go-to powder for most beauty gurus or youtubers um, and I heard so much good things about it so I was interested intrigued so I wanted to buy but then again knowing me the, the click happy me I was supposed to buy the translucent one but I got the honey beige instead wherein you can get 2.3 ounces so I'm not so sure whether um, I'm going I don't want to open it now because I'm thinking of giving this to my sister because I'm meeting her in March she's flying from Los Angeles so that's it so I'm thinking of giving it to her and then the next one is the wet and wild 
brush roll 17 piece collection the brushes are not here because I just washed them and I want to sit down and try the brushes on camera but you do get like a 17 piece brushes from face brushes to eye brushes and it's just $28.65 that's in sing dollars when you go to the app um, you'll be actually the prices there would be in Singapore dollars which is quite easy so it that you don't need to do conversions and all not like when I was ordering things from amazon.com so that's a 17 piece and it's cheaper than when you purchase it on stores in Singapore because there was this brush set collection that I actually I was eyeing on last year and it's in their holiday collection and it cost like $60 and then I told myself I won't buy a $60 um, brush it and that's only 10 pieces I'll try to find the picture and I'll post it somewhere here so that you can actually guys you can see um, it's the same it's the same collection that is 10 piece and this is 17 and I got it like for $30 28.65 if you want to be accurate so it's actually a good buy I'm excited to try this because again I heard so much good things about it the next one is the Milani Everyday Eye Powder Eyeshadows in Must Have Neutrals. Okay, again, a beauty YouTuber made me buy this. It was under, I forgot her name, but um, I was, I think in my other video, I don't know which video, I did say that I want to do a full face of items that beauty YouTubers made me buy. So I haven't even swatched it, I haven't even used it, it's in pristine condition. If you see, because I have so much lights, okay, like this. So these are the in must-have neutrals. You have shimmer shades, okay, I think you have three matte shades and two, three, 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 three matte shades and three shimmer shades. Which I'm excited to try once I recorded the video. I'll link it at the description box. And it also comes in with the brushes, like a brush. So you have the fluff, blah, 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 fluffy brush in one side, wherein you can use it to like um, distribute the, the eyeshadows all over your crease and a flat brush wherein you can do the patting motion for your eyeshadows. I know Milani just came out with their Milani Obsessions palette which, which, which I want to buy but they don't have it yet in Singapore so I'm thinking of shall I buy it online and have it ship here or wait for my sister in March and ask her to buy it for me because I heard so much good things about it. And I also bought, so that's the things that I bought for um, in December. They, I, I actually also bought, I can't make this up, Life Lessons by, I forgot his name, Kevin Hart. Okay, it's $21.57. And this is the funny thing, I thought I bought the book, which I didn't. It is actually an audio CD and when I realized it because I didn't open it up right away um, it was already too late so for my first purchase I actually um, had a total of $70 something so I was eligible for free shipping and for Amazon Prime Now the Prime Now app oh by the way you can only order using the app they don't have um, a web you, unlike the amazon.com they have the app and then you can app and you can order it um, through your browser but this you can only order things online oh my god that's so can you see all the fingerprints you can only order it using your app so you have to download the app and order it from there and then the next time I ordered was Oh, you can use uh, you can use your debit card to actually pay for it or you can use PayPal which I do so on the 6th of Feb 
I actually ordered a few items. Okay, again. Oh my god, I should just stop this um, buying things online, which was not late because they would usually promise you that they would deliver it for um, like seven to nine business days and it was actually within the seven to nine business days excluding your weekends so if you're in a hurry you can actually choose there's another option um, when you're checking out whether do you want the standard um, delivery which is seven to nine days or you want it lesser but for me I just stick with the seven to nine days because usually I'm not that I'm not that I'm not in a hurry so even when I was ship buying things from amazon.com I usually choose the standard shipping when I get the free shipment so when you open the box it's like this they do have this like protector which is I always find it good and finally yay um, things I finally got the if I do forget to mention the price, I would link it at the description box below. Uh, I'll link it. I'll put it in the description box so you guys would actually know. Okay. Finally, I ordered the correct one. It's the Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. And I just got this for $7.95, guys. It's... 2.3 ounces I'm using a loose powder like a few and the cheapest one that I have is actually six dollars and it's small I said literally it's this cute small thing oh I have it with me like um see my makeup, makeup box um like the Altea velvet can you see the Altea powder is this small and it's six dollars the Innisfree no sebum powder you can buy this for ten dollars I got the Coty airspun for seven dollars or eight dollars can you see the big difference how much product I can actually get if it does work I think this would actually last me for like Year, not years, a year if it's really good I'm excited I'll open it up is there any plastic so you twist it has a big puff that you can actually use it's sealed right and it does say I'll do a review on this I'll do a first impression video um, maybe using this versus one of my favorite um high-end not actually high-end i do have a face powder that was sent to me and it was like um 40 dollars face powder finishing powder can you actually believe that it's a 40 dollars something then the next thing that i bought was because my phone keeps on locking so i have to open it up this is again another favorite by a youtuber and it's tatty westbrook one of my favorite youtuber is tatty westbrook and she swears by this so i was so interested i said i have to find it because it's not available in singapore if it was it was like 16 20 dollars it's a drugstore brand the next is another thing that i'm so excited about see it's bubble wrap which is so cool another thing that a youtuber beauty youtuber made me buy is the physician's formula butter bron butter bronzer i have to check the price and it's 13 dollars and 57 cents they Physicians formula is sold in Singapore, but they don't have this and I think if they do it would not be $13.57 So they even have the beauty people award So it's the physician formula butter bronzer with Murumuru Butter bronzer. I'm excited to try this and I bought it in light um, 
I think I've said it just now that I'm planning to do a video wherein um, beauty products that beauty cosmetics that I just broke the because I'm too excited. <laughs> I'll put the scotch thing. Um, that beauty bloggers made me buy. So this is how it looks like. I'm excited. Oops. I put it on my nose. So this is how it looks like in light. Okay. And people, it does, it does smells like coconut. And then, it, um, so when you open it up, it's actually here, the bronzer. And then, flip it you there's a mirror and then you have a brush and for $13 it's like I don't use bronzers all the time it's just in when I feel like using it but with this oh, it is it is creamy and the color is in light and I think it's a matte finish can you actually see no you can't but never mind I love it I'm excited to try it it's powdery and I want to try it now but then my face is kind of oily so never mind let's um, leave it for another video <laughs> Shall I try a first impressions video for this? Hmm. Leave it on the comment section below if you want me to try the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Light. Just a dedicated video for this. And let me know. I would love to try and do it for you guys. Then this one. Why did I even purchase this? But I was intrigued because um, skincare... I love doing my skincare and this is one of those that is actually comes in the set it's a real techniques brush set <laughs> take two it's the real techniques brush set prep and prime and this one is $26.61 why did I buy this because Let's see if I can open them up. I still have one more guys. Last product and then we're done and over with. And the last one is again, I should stop buying this. I know BH Cosmetics do ship to Singapore but then you have to pay for shipping. This I haven't checked at BH Cosmetics website whether is it cheaper or is the same price. But I just want to buy because for makeup brushes, I'm more particular with eye brushes. I want to try as much as eye brushes that I need so that, you know, when blending and you're doing things, and at least I would have a few um, clean brushes whenever I need them because I only clean my brushes like once or twice a week. And same thing, but for face brushes, I'm happy with whatever face brushes that I have right now. So I bought the BH Cosmetics Seven Piece Eye Brush Set, and this guys cost me thirteen dollars and thirty cents. Having said that, BH Cosmetics is actually being sold in Watson, some of the stores of Watsons, and sometimes when you do go for like some events, like beauty events, they do sell them, but it's more. It's way more expensive than $13. Okay, people? And so, oh, I did a haul video for Yes Style. I'm going to put the link on the description box. And this just reminded me of them. Oh my goodness, I would be so. Okay, never mind, Victoria, it's your fault. So these are the brushes that I do get. Um, it does have like blending brush, large shader br brush. But um, let's see. Let's open one up. And I like it because it's packed like individually in plastics. 
like the brush that I actually bought from YesStyle which cost me like maybe $9 I think. Um, unlike that, this handle is has a glossy finish but the same thing. It has this rose gold um, handle on top, a glossy finish black. I, think I just love black. But the good thing is, it does have a number, like um, it has a name. Can you even see it? Okay. It does have a name and it has a number, right? And then when you go through the box, 101 is actually a blending brush. So we'll see. I love it. It's soft. It's actually soft. I don't want to try because I have to wash my brushes first. Guys, when you get new brushes, please, please, please wash them first before you actually use them because sometimes it doesn't have a smell, so it, which is good. So I'll wash them and then maybe do a video of just using these brushes, which I'm excited for because again, I do have a few eyeshadows that I need to try. So I can try the eyeshadow and try the brushes too. So that's it. That's all that I have. The things that I bought from Amazon Prime Now. So what do I actually think? Is it worth buying from Amazon Prime Now? Definitely yes because um, most of the items, uh, all of the items that I actually bought from Amazon Prime now, either they're not available in Singapore, like the Coty Air Spun, or they would be expensive, way more expensive. Um, that's why, that's why, <laughs> see, suddenly I lost my train of thought. Okay, it's totally worth it. And you just have to purchase like 60, sing dollars to get the free shipping to singapore and it would take you like five to seven to nine days which is fine if you're not in a hurry like i've said you'll be saving a lot of money but the drawback is amazon prime now they don't have a wide range of beauty brands or brands that sells that sell things on Amazon Prime now so there's some things that um, brands that I actually want to buy and try or if they do have the brand they don't have the items so brands and products they don't have a wide selection but so far the one that I bought are actually the things that I actually want to buy but there are some things that I actually want to try but they don't have it so maybe I'll just wait for a few more months and you know, I haven't actually tried the local, um, like choosing Singapore and check out the beauty items. So maybe I'll do another haul and see whether is it cheaper to buy it from Amazon Prime now or just go to the drugstore like Watson's Gardens or to whatever place you're actually buying your cosmetics and skincare from and from there we would see whether is it really worth it if you're just buying from the Singapore um, site the delivery is actually $40 and you can actually get it within two hours if you wanted to. So now that I'm saying it, maybe I'll try doing a haul of household items in Singapore. I'll see, I'll see, I'll think about it but definitely I'll be using Amazon Prime now every now and then when I need to buy certain products because like for BH Cosmetics, I told you guys that um, they do ship to Singapore, but then you have to pay for shipping fees. But yeah, so that's it. I hope you do learn something about this haul. And let me know guys, have you tried Amazon Prime now? And how do you feel that when Amazon.com actually stopped? Um, shipping to Singapore when you purchase 125 US dollars the range is wider they have more brands more products and all compared to Amazon Prime now but I'm happy that at least we still have Amazon shipping to Singapore even though it's a few fewer collection and fewer brands you can still buy things and it's way 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 cheaper affordable if you do 
versus when you buy it from the stores itself in Singapore. So, if you like this type of video, you know the drill. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're feeling, feeling, <laughs> feeling generous and kind, please subscribe to my channel. It does mean a lot to me. Till my next adventure. Remember to be courageous, kind, and a blessing to everyone you meet. Bye!